Well, here we go. Typical uh, cat hunting morning here. Uh, get up at four, a cup of oatmeal and some coffee, and uh, go out and water the dogs. I like to water them before we leave. That way they, they, they get hydrated a little bit before their day's hunt. Sometimes they don't get a chance to drink out there in the, in the frozen in the frozen tundra. So uh, I like to water them first. And uh, then we uh, get the truck warmed up a little bit, get all dressed up in wool, and uh, head over to pick up Rick, my, my hunting partner here, who'll be waiting for us uh, halfway to the hunting grounds. It's uh, 5 o'clock now, and we're gassing up and getting ready to head out. So uh, I'll keep you posted and send you uh, an update. What I'd like to do today, I'd like to take you on a bobcat hunt. I'd like to take you with me. Uh, the best way I know how to do that is through the video. So. I'll, I'll stay in touch throughout the day. Yeah, take a walk. There we are. Picking up Rick. No conditions suck. That's what we gotta do here. So, uh, we got Ringo over here. We're loading him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loads right up in the box there. Hey, morning, Rick. See what we can do today. Get shit conditions, but at least we can check. Well, that's a, get, get fortunate here this morning. We got a little dust in the snow, I'll show you. Right there last night, yesterday after yesterday afternoon there, I guess. About a half an inch. Not really what we're looking for, but uh, it's what we got. So that's what we'll that's what we'll go with and we'll keep you posted as we go along. Everybody load it up and on our way. Y'all have a great day. I don't like to start out too early. Cats move just after dark and just before daylight. And uh, if you start out too early, what happens, Rick? Yeah. Start out too early and you miss tracks. You start out too late and somebody will be on the track in front of you. So it's kind of a catch-22. Best thing to do is just do your thing. Start out when you want to start out and go find a track. That's the first thing you need to do. So well, we're on our way and uh, we'll keep you updated as we pass along here in the morning and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so it's uh, 8, 837 and about eight o'clock we found a nice big track and uh, not real good conditions, but a pretty track in this fresh powder. And they're about a mile away right now and we're heading in that direction. So when we get over there, you can hear something. Uh, we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, just wanted you along for the hunt. It was pretty exciting to find that track. So, uh, talk to you later. Just took the cat off the mountain, and they're moving in this direction towards the road. Ricky's out there, out there now. They're putting a good drive on him right here. It's a nice cat. If he gets closer, I'll see if I can't get you close enough to hear it. There he is, old fancy pants himself. <laughs> Cat's crossing between us and the brook. couple hundred yards off to our right. We'll just see how, if we can't get a shot at him coming across the road. like he's already crossed behind us. There's his track. Crossed behind us. Circling back. Looks 
circling back down by the brook, Rick. Down quite a ways. Almost on the brook now. Where's a good girl? Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl, Sally. Good girl. Talk right to him. Where is he? Where is he, Carly? Mm -hmm. Where is he, Sally? Where is he, huh? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, good girl, Sally. Talk to him. Where is he, Carly? Yeah, oh, good girl. Good girl. We got a bright light there. We're going to try to use and see if we can find him in there. Probably can't. But it's a big old rock pile. See, that's what she should be doing. Well, this is where we ended up. The big rock pile. Hole right here, Rick. I bet he went in right there. And that happens just as many times as not. We end up in a big rock pile. Well, at least we put this cat track to an end. There it is, right in the rocks. Andrea. Where is he, Sally? Where is he, Sally? See nothing coming out of here, do you, Rick? Game over for today. Tomorrow's a new day. Well, it's noon time and time to head back to the barn, I guess. We, uh, after put that cat in the hole, there was no getting him out of there. I mean, he's, it was just an endless pit, just a big, big rock pile and the end of a gravel pit. And, uh, that's where he wanted to go. He knew where he wanted to escape to, and that's what he did. Uh, the dogs had a momentary loss just before that, and when they did, he, uh, he found his escape route, headed that way. Sally put him in the rocks. I brought Carly up there to give her a little exposure to a cat in a hole. And then uh, ended up pulling Sally out of there. Uh, just didn't want her to get down in that hole so deep that I wouldn't have been able to get her out without an excavator. So uh, that was our day. It was a good day. It's not always about getting the cat. It's about running, working with the hounds, getting some fresh air, finding some new country. So uh, it's not always about the kill, but it's about the hunt. And that's what we enjoy to do. And hopefully you were enjoying yourself with us today. Uh, you were out here with us and uh, a beautiful day. It's uh, probably 25 degrees. It's gonna drop down to sub-zero temperatures tonight, but right now it's really nice. So I hope you enjoyed your day with us. And that's kind of what I'd like to accomplish with these videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, you know, click on the little bell for future updates. We're going to try to stay at it here till uh, the end of our season, February 21st. And uh, we're absolutely having horrendous conditions. I, I, you know, if you could put a real hard push on the, on the cat early on, uh, you can catch him or tree him. But, you know, quite frankly, under, under these crusty conditions, it's very, very difficult. So I, I don't even have any clients here right now because I don't think it's fair to them. Uh, so I'm just keeping the dogs in shape the best I can alternating them all the time so that uh, they don't get foot sore and uh, learn where these cats are crossing and, and, and checking some baits that we might have out. So y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Welcome to North Country. Bye. Have a great day.